Hello everyone, welcome back. Shua Legra here, and as I've been doing for the past few days and maybe few weeks, no relating to wherever you're watching this, I'm inviting my friends uh, who are also authors and people that I had the privilege to um, to collaborate with, either on their own project or in collaboration project that I was you know, leading. Um, so today is no difference. I have my very good friend Nikki with me, and I'll give her a chance to let us know a little bit about who she is and what she does. Hi, my name is Nikki Habecker, and thank you too so much for having me on today. It is an honor and a privilege to know you, to have worked with you throughout the years, and you were an answer to a prayer when I was searching for someone to be able to help guide me with the writing project and mentor me in bringing my dream calling vision to fruition. So thank you so much for having me. Uh, I am a mom of three incredible, beautiful children. I have been married for 27 years and I have two fur babies. I have Storm, who is a rescue cat and my daughter's only Christmas wish one year. Cat, cat, kitten, kitten, cat, cat, cat. <laughs> and um, he still sleeps with her and she is definitely his person. And then recently we, I think, probably two years ago, we got a new puppy and her name is Sweets and she lives up to her name. Uh, <laughs> never met a stranger and she, I am her person. If I sit down, she is on my lap. If I'm anywhere near, she is right there. She's just like my little baby. So um, I love my family and I'm very passionate about helping other people and, and, you know, hopefully making a difference in other people's lives in a positive way. Mm -hmm. Oh, awesome. It's, it definitely is a pleasure to know you as well and, you know, work with you on different projects. I mean, you and yeah. I, you know, met on different initiatives that was being done here in Pennsylvania for people with disabilities and their caregivers. And then here we are, right? If you I know. It's, it's you're publishing uh, your book and, and it just, you know, it's, it, it's amazing how God connects people. And sometimes you think it's just for that one season, but you never know. God has a bigger plan. You know, might introduce someone in your life and then sometimes you lose touch and then they come at the time that you actually needed them. But that connection yeah. made somewhere. So I'm just, you know, I, I'm, I'm tickled by what, how God works. And it's a blessing, you know, to know you and your family. Um, so how did you get into writing? How did I get into writing? Um, I have to say that I have always dabbled in writing. I have written since I was a little girl and I always joke, I'm going to publish a book one day. I'm going to publish a book one day. And then um, I wrote in college and just, again, it's, it's been a way of helping me bring and savor the joys. It's been a way of helping me when things are tough and I need to figure things out, I'll, I'll journal. And also it, it's a time to look back and reflect on how God has answered prayers. So writing to me is something I've done from a little girl all the way up through you know, poetry, just little pieces. And it's a way for me to capture memories. So I just, I really enjoy writing. I'm not sure I really thought I would put it all together in a book. For me. <laughs> but, but you did. But and I did. a best-selling book at that. <laughs> yes. And, and thank you for, for helping me be able mm -hmm. to do that. So again, I, I echo what you said. Um, we have actually known each other since uh, we both worked at a, the same place, and then we were on a statewide family leadership initiative together, Project Max, and again, you know, in another position, and then sort of lost touch. And then I was putting together this book and, and uh, lots of prayers and seeing if it's really something that I was being called to do. I pray that God would help me you know, find the person and complete this project. And you came to mind. And so I reached out to you because I knew you had published a book. At the time, I didn't realize Grace and Hope Consulting was also doing publishing. So that was an answered prayer. So yes, it is amazing how our seasons and lives touch. Yeah, and yeah. It's a blessing. 
So with the book, like what you've been writing, like you say, you know, writing since you were a teenager, since so you're younger, and then you finally put this together, this story, and right. put it into a book. Like, what is your why? Like, what was the reason behind it? Obviously, you're busy. You have, you have a family, <laughs> and you have a, you know, you have the adult, you no know, young adult son who, you know, who has you no know, complex needs. So it's not like you have nothing else to do with your time, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes. Um, I I've written bits and pieces throughout the years. Um, you know, again, just kind of journaling and, and as a way to capture my thoughts and, and recognize the answered prayers. And then I, I think I started writing the book several years ago when I was just kind of trying to capture what works, what, what's worked for us, what's helped us be successful as a way to give back, to create positive, sustainable change, and to be able to share those pieces with those in positions that can make that difference long-term for not only my son and his quality of life, but mm -hmm. his friends, our community, and others even bigger. And so it's been an honor to be able to do that. I think the the biggest why, as I said, is um, it, it felt like a calling. It felt like a vision, something that I needed to share with other people. And I have done that in, in those professional capacities. But I also think um, as a parent, it would have been nice to have something like this book to help guide me. While each of our journeys are definitely uniquely our own, we do have some commonalities and, and we're not alone. And so my hope is to be able to share this story with other individuals, with families, with professionals, with our future educators, um, to be able to help them realize the perspective, the journey that a family member or an individual goes through, and that there are tools and strategies available to everyone to help each of us be able to live a successful quality life. And, and that's really important to me. It, it's really important to be able to share that. And, I, and again, I think that was a, a calling um, for, you know, not only us to be able to have that quality life, but really to be able to help other people see hope, possibilities, to be inspired that this can be their life too. That's yeah. probably my biggest why. Um, I think at the end, the, the cover of the book mm -hmm. is really incredible and it summarizes the why as well and the journey. The cover of the book is actually a sketch from one of Joshua's teachers at the high school and all of his peers. And what they wrote on the back was beautiful. It's, it's a journey. It's taken um, Joshua leading us. It's taken me as a parent to champion, to stretch myself and to stretch our team mm -hmm. and to learn as much as I can. Um, but really to have this quality of life, it's, it's about inclusion. It's about friendship. It's about acceptance. It's about teamwork. It's about trial, failing, and succeeding. It's about not only being accepted, but actually being in the community, belonging. It, you know, it's, it's really beautiful. And what really, I think, brought the book to fruition was the graduation. Mm -hmm. um, the, the fireworks went off, Joshua, the whole entire um, student body, parents, administrators, school board all stood to clap as he walked across the stage to get his diploma. Mm -hmm. And we, every one of us could savor and know that we all made a difference yeah. in his life. And they made a difference in our family's life. And we made a difference in theirs. Um, interdependence like we we really together this village has created this quality of life and he was surrounded by so much love not only from a mom not only from our family our extended family but from his peers other families teachers school board members mm -hmm. 
so it was a beautiful story that I think um, was a calling to share. Again, no more important than anyone else's, but so full of love that that moment, um, it just, it just was, it was illuminating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, 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 if I'm sitting here, I'm just like, oh, and I wasn't even physically there, just reading the story, reading the book, and then hearing you talk about it, you know, it just, yeah, it's like, you can just picture, you know, the joy, the sense of community and belonging, like you say, the partnership even, it's like yeah. everybody felt part of that day, like everybody planted a seed that grew and, and you know, nurtured even to bring that to fruition. And that day was just kind of like, wow, we all did it, you know, together, you know? Yes. And that's where I think, um, as I was describing it, I said, it's a masterpiece. And in reality, I look at it as God's masterpiece yes. because through his divine timing, through his intervention, through us keeping our eyes on the prize and, and, um, for lack of a better phrase, you know, you'll hear that, keep your eyes on the prize. It's really about keeping your eye on that individual working together mm -hmm. to create this, this belonging, this presuming competence, this inclusion mm -hmm. that will flourish and blossom into a community. Yeah. It's really beautiful. And it's nothing I could have done alone. Josh couldn't have done alone. The school couldn't do alone, but together we can do so much. Yeah. We are definitely better together. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Yeah. And like, what are some things that helped you along the way? You know, a help for Josh's journey, you know, like all that community, the school and the medical team and the family, but then outside of guess pulling into narrowing down to the writing part of it. Like, what are some things that helped you along the way as you were writing this book and getting, you know, getting it published? Some, uh, some things that helped me along the way is definitely again writing I, I would say you know writing helped me be able to um it was therapeutic it was helpful it helped create mindfulness um I think you were a true blessing along the way and an answered prayer and you know when I had this I think it was 40 pages you know, my first draft, 60 page, I don't remember how many pages, but I reached out to you and, you know, said, can you just kind of read it and help guide me and mentor me? And, um, you know, tell me what you think, honestly, what you think is this is something that I, I want to share, but I was really scared to share, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, because it's very personal um, and it's very vulnerable and clear up probably until the week before. I just wasn't even sure I was ready to do it. <laughs> so you were um, you were there for me for mentoring. You were there coaching. You were there for the editing piece, mm -hmm. the Grace and Hope Consulting. Um, but you were also there for me in prayer mm -hmm. and just an indescribable sense of peace mm -hmm. that I needed to be able to continue to move forward with this um, very vulnerable, you know, piece of me and piece of our of our journey. So that was very helpful. And then I had some really um, close, confident friends that I reached out to who are also professionals and, mm -hmm. you know, ask them to read and provide some feedback. And that was very helpful, and including my oldest son and my husband. They both read it and they actually read it first <laughs> before <laughs> I, you know, decided to go to that next level and step mm -hmm. um, and a lot of prayer. I, I have to say I am a prayer warrior mm -hmm. and it's something I am very proud of. Um, and I have this relationship with God and this faith that has been my rock throughout mm -hmm. the journey. And sometimes um, if you read the book, you know, there are joys and, and so much happiness and so much love, but there were also times that it was a real struggle. Right. And it was very difficult and lots of tears. And I think that that having that foundation with God and the ability to prayer and to read, um, I read daily meditations every day and I pray before my feet hit the ground because I think that's the best chance I have <laughs> every day. So I think all of these things together and then really um, some 
intimate feedback from people in the book, you will see what I call instructional assistant extraordinaire. Mm -hmm. um, her, her, how she values Joshua and all people and our family and the interactions or the special ed director, how she shares that Joshua shaped the true trajectory of, you know, inclusion and education and the peers and the mm -hmm. teacher that wrote on the back of the sketch. And I could go on our family member who says, you know, I, I know everybody talks about Joshua, but Joshua was very fortunate to have the family and the support system mm -hmm. that you all have mm -hmm. provided for him. And just so all of those different pieces are fundamentally important in answering the question you asked. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, and I find that often when we start something, sometimes we delay starting something because we're afraid of all the work ahead and we don't know where to start and we don't even know, you know, how to implement the dream or the goals that we have or the calling even. And right. it takes a village, you know, like you said earlier, and not just for inclusion, but it, takes a, it also takes a village to make those dreams a reality. You know, and I always tell people, don't do it alone. Don't even try or think you want to know, try to do it alone because it's, you're doing yourself a disservice. Uh, and so I'm glad that, you know, you kind of, you bring that, you know, you bring that up and kind of share about that. Is there any other advice that you, or word of encouragement that you want to share with um, new authors and writers? Um, it, it is, it is vulnerable. It is a risk to put yourself out there to write and to be able to share that with others. So I think it's really important, again, to have that foundation of faith and, and who you surround yourself with. Um, and again, I think you've said it, I've said it, it's really important to have that coach or that mentor that helps uplift you. Mm -hmm. um, Along, along the journey, there have been peop different people that have done that for me. And I think that's really important is just who you surround yourself with um, does make a big difference. And it, it is very uplifting. So being aware of that, just writing, just, you know, spending 15 minutes, um, to, to sit down and to write or to have a little notebook or these days your phone, I do it in yeah. notes sometimes. You know, if you have a thought or if I wake up in the middle of the night, I put it down on paper because I, as you are, you, you have a beautiful family. Mm -hmm. I have a beautiful family work. We are so busy that mm -hmm. if I wait until I have time to write, then it's gone. Yeah. it's yeah. gone yeah. <laughs> it's gone so I would say you know um surround yourself with really talented people read read mm -hmm. from those that inspire you mm -hmm. um, learn from those that inspire you we're all life learn lifelong learners and continue to grow and to develop and to become better versions of ourselves um so I would say write. I would say keep something near that you can jot down. Uh, surround yourself with really talented people. Look at the people that that um, you you honor. Your sheroes. You're one of my sheroes. So I, I look right at my, you. <laughs> I look at you, and I, I think you know. I, I'm just in awe of the incredible mom that you are, a leader in faith. Uh, you've taken your experience and your dreams and you are definitely bringing them to fruition and then helping other people along their journey. It's really beautiful. So I don't think there's any one thing, but I think it's a combination of things. Mm -hmm. And and be brave. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> be brave. yeah, you have to be brave. It's not a easy journey, um, no. especially when you're writing as a calling. It, yeah, it, it, it takes courage. It takes, you, you have you have to kind of, uh, kind of tough it up sometimes. It's not easy, yes. but I, I like all the things you just suggested. 
definitely write as you go that's how you, that's my writing model it's like i write as i go i'm like just like you have my phone on the ipad i'm sitting at the hospital in the hospital if i keep in front of my children or therapy session or you know they're at the park i'm literally you know, writing on my ipad writing on my phone kind of keeping track of as ideas come so i don't lose it because you're right when i get to sitting down either i'm falling asleep because i'm so dang tired right <laughs> or i'm like what was it i was remembering i needed to remember right i remember all the doctor's appointments and the dishes i need to be done and the meals and all of that but then i won't remember what i want to write about (laughs) exactly (laughs) exactly mom life for real here (laughs) my daughter did that the other day just for the fun of it she was just like mom 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 (laughs) it's funny me that you know it was it was really funny because and and i i never get tired of hearing mom and i never get tired hearing I love you because it took a long time for those words we weren't even sure those were going to be spoken Mm -hmm. from Joshua but Mm -hmm. yes you definitely need definitely need to write it and I think one of the other things um, that I have had to keep in mind and you have helped me with that as well as as my husband and I and and through prayer is you know the book is not going to be for everybody Mm -hmm. but what's in the book will reach those that it's meant to reach and it will help those that it's meant to help and if I am able to help one person in their journey and I believe I've already been able to do that um, so that goal is you know writing the book and then first and foremost being able to share God's love and and the strength from that foundation and faith and then all of those other things but if I'm able to help others in their journey and honor those that have worked so so hard for us to be here Mm -hmm. and then make that path a little bit easier for other people um, then then it will find its hands in the right hands and I just have to I have to remember that it's not meant for everyone but those that it's meant for it will touch yeah 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 and so well said I I believe every story every book out there has a message that's important but the message it has the message has its um, designated receivers if you want right and so as we pray you know as we seek God's face and and in his leading, he definitely guides us to those people. And sometimes people will read your book that you never, you obviously the none of us can meet everyone who ever touched your books, right? And that's why we put right. them you know, out there on the web and let God do his thing. Um, so it, and it's, it's also a powerful way to just reach as many people as possible who need to hear your message. Yeah, yeah. You've helped me do that, thank you. You're welcome, welcome. My, 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 honestly, it's, it, it's fun to work with people who are, not just focus on what they need to do, but for the right reason and leaning on the right support and the right help. You know, like you, I always tell you know all of you that I've been interviewing. I say you guys make my work easy. You make it fun. You know, and it's like I because I, I see how it's not just me saying oh we should do this or coach you through that, but you take that to heart. You implement, and then the results and the outcome are just amazing. It's not just me. It's not you. It's like you know, all of us together and then God, you know, sprinkling, you know, his blessing on it. And it's just, yes. yeah, it, it definitely keeps all of us going. Yes. So. I've, I've already had some um, incredible feedback. I like yesterday, I had a surprise where one young man was reading the book um, who is a peer of Joshua's and has been, and has been part of our journey through the years, but it was really interesting to get this message from him yesterday about how he loves the book and, you know, how that's helping him see his own, uh, family and his own experiences. And then, you know, another friend, I wish I had had this book when I met you and Joshua, it would have been really helpful and insightful. Mm-hmm. Um, and so there've been several people, you know, those are just two examples that have really reached out and, and said, wow, thank you for sharing this. Mm-hmm. And the tools and the, the tools and the strategies in there are just like a starting place. So, you know, and many, many people are involved. And then the new parent, like I would love to have known some of those things as a new parent. And we've grown so much and changed. He's now 21. Mm -hmm. And things, you know, we've had our thumbprint or fingerprint in so much um, 
one voice, one person can make a difference. And we, we can be that, you know, be that change yeah. that we hope for. And um, obviously I didn't come up with that. <laughs> But you're no, living it. But I'm living it. You are the evidence of that sentence. Yeah. <laughs> be the change you wish to see in the world. Gandhi, you know, um, is is powerful when you're able to live that. And it's um, so one voice, one person can make a difference, and it can be so beautiful. And the the messages, the seeds, can just continue to ripple and flourish. And it's really exciting to see that come to fruition. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I wanted to be able to share that mm -hmm. and by our hope and possibilities and love and, and potential and inclusion, but even more than just inclusion and integration, actual value for the individual and belonging. Mm -hmm. And we all have gifts to share regardless. It comes from that fundamental belief that I have and that value, we all have gifts and talents to share regardless. Um, God equips us with all of that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to fulfill his purpose, his journey, um, what he needs us to do. Yeah. So yeah. to be I'm part of that. To that. I feel like I'm yeah. in church. <laughs> uh, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, 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 that's a compliment. I, you, you, okay. you know my faith, but like honestly, and everything I, I do, I bring all of me, you know, I meet people where they are and those of you who share the same faith, faith as, as, as I do, you know that I have, honestly, there's no limit. You know, when God leads, we lead. So honestly, I, I, I love you sharing your faith and how important it is to you, you know, in, in your entire life, but also how it helped you through your writing okay. journey. You know, that, that's important. Writing journey and in all honesty, this, you know, that the gifts and, and all of those are so important. And I believe I have that as well as my son. Um, but I don't, and I've said this to my daughter and to my family, I don't think I could be the kind of person, wife, mother. Mm -hmm. um, I certainly couldn't advocate and champion like I have and stretch myself and put myself out there mm -hmm and and pick myself back up dust myself back off if mm -hmm. i didn't have that faith yeah. Yeah. if i didn't have that foundation i would not be the kind of person that i am and i'm certainly not perfect mm -hmm. <laughs> i make plenty of mistakes we all uh, do we all do yeah but i i lay my head in bed and say you know tomorrow's a new day <laughs> so yeah by god's yeah. grace we keep moving forward <laughs> that's exactly what it is so yeah, yeah, yeah. so you and i can be talking here all day because I, I i enjoy <laughs> you talking to you um but where can people find you where can they you know if they want to reach out to you and continue this conversation about inclusion and belonging uh, and i know that you know just for people out there listening and watching this she's open for speaking engagement to share her journey how um they have been able to you know achieve that true inclusion not you know true belonging not just you know someone being physically present but actually participating in all of community life uh, and yeah, so yeah. oh that just gave me chills when i said that um so yeah she where can people find you so they can reach out for the book and also for speaking engagement Okay, as I said, my name is Nikki Habecker, and you can find me on Facebook. You can find me through Messenger, um, Nikki Habecker at gmail.com. Please don't hesitate to reach out. I am excited to share. I have a possibilities page on Facebook as well. So you'll see a lot of information about the book, the launch, and you know the initial launch, physical and virtually in person that you, Grace and Hope Consulting, helped with. So possibilities on Facebook, reach out on Facebook or Messenger, Nikki Habecker or Nikki Habecker at gmail.com. Well, and so I much. am definitely open for uh, speaking engagements. I am open for, you know, talking with other people, sharing the book. Mm -hmm. I am, I'm excited to, to continue the work in the ministry. Yeah, yeah. And I will make sure that we include those links, you know, in the description that way people have it, they can just click and, you know, and follow as well. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much, Nikki. Love you so Thank much. Thank you so much. It's, it's an honor and a, a privilege to know you and to share your faith and to have 
the opportunity to work with you to develop, you know, this, this dream, this vision, this calling. So thank you so much. I'm grateful. You're welcome. It's a pleasure to, to be part of your journey.